Hello friends, this is Sanjay Kumar, founder and creator of Selector Sub. If you are new here, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming innovation updates and uh, such kind of great insightful tutorials. Thank you. How to generate and verify playwright selectors in Selector Sub? I mean, in general, you can do it, but that is like very uh, time consuming and tedious task to generate and verify playwright selectors when you are working with playwright so for playwright user this tutorial is going to be very very helpful so here you see that uh, like suppose you don't have for a second you don't have selectors up so how people do it or how you like if you are a playwright user how you are writing and verifying and generating the playwright selector so let me show you so i believe like yes we all do this so first of all like we have to open like to verify playwright selectors and to generate them we have to like you cannot do in console of course here in dev tools here we cannot write the playwright selector of course or uh, so what we do what you are doing without selectors up. so very first thing you have to execute your code like playwright uh, you will have to open playwright window in debug mode so how you do that like let's run this so it will open this window playwright window in incognito of course the, the way it used to open and then uh, like you execute this so here we have opened the same web web page now if we have to let's say we have to uh, first of all let's say we have to generate selector for this one playwright selector so what you do like you right click inspect then you go to console here you have to type playwright then you have to type selector and then you have to type dollar zero and it generated this selector for <coughs> this element let me inspect this element so that we get for this so this is this selector for this enter user enter email field now you see that the steps which we have taken to just generate one selector here we had to execute the code then we had to uh, like once we have to run the de debug mode so that we open the uh, this link then we have to go to console then we have to type this much so it's a, like lots of steps are there just to generate one selector and now let's suppose you want to verify this playwright selectors at any point of time so you can some of the play, playwright selectors you might be able to get the result when you are verifying in dev tools but not all because there is a separate a page there is a separate way to verify playwright selectors like if you think that you can verify this selector here like do control f you see that it is showing zero zero but if you verify this playwright selector here in console like uh, like you verify other selectors so you are here you are getting the result but now let's see there are like because lots of playwright lots of types of playwright selectors there are like lots of support is there so let's say if we inspect this uh, user email label and now if we generate the playwright selector for this it is generating this text is equal to user email so if we have to verify this selector here so you will not be able to verify this one here and it is saying uh, not a valid selector and of course here it will not verify uh, means if it is not any selector or any string match then it will show zero zero so to verify playwright selector you will always have to open you will ha always have to open playwright window in debug mode and that's where in playwright window console you can verify your playwright selector by typing by remembering this playwright dot selector that there is standard command but let us make this task very easy with selector sub you would be able to verify these playwright selector as an standard selectors like you always uh, verifying the uh, x path in css selector like you just start typing and verifying so same way so let's open selector sub here so currently i'm showing this in selector sub pro so here you paste your selector let's say playwright selector this here 
and hit enter it will show you how many matches are there so this way you can verify play right selector in selector sub and suppose you want to verify this one the other one copy this and paste it here done so this way you can verify the play right selector in selector sub easily without like remembering any extra command just like you write and verify your x path selectors you verify same way you can verify play right selectors good now so this is the one part is done that how you can verify the play right selector easily so you can verify play right selectors in selectors are just like a pro without any time waste without remembering any new command now how can you auto generate play right selectors <clears throat> so to generate the play right selector by default you see that it is not showing the play right selector in, here in selector sub so what you do go to customize ui click here and there is a checkbox play right selector pw selector so actually by default we have kept it unchecked because right now like not everyone required the play right selector and this make like little process slow to generate the uh, selectors i mean for very obvious reason but not like uh, majorly you you might not be able to feel uh, that difference but uh, in case of huge dom and other stuff so for that reason because right now not everybody required the play right selector so those who required this or those who are working in play right selector of course you just check in this here it will ask you for the confirmation so you confirm this and then continue now if we will in, if we will inspect this element let's say this one so you see that it is generating the play right selector as well you inspect any element it will show you the play right selector as well here so this way it is now much more easier to generate the play right selector quickly and very easy so this makes your process uh, of generating the play right selector playing around with them very very easy so i hope you like this and this will help you a lot if you're working with playwright you are playing playing with the playwright selectors so this is going to be very very helpful and a huge time saver because you will not have to run your code in uh, every time whenever you have like any issue in your playwright script you need not to run that code to just to verify the selector just to verify one selector you need not to open terminal running the code then going to console then typing playwright dot selector playwright dot dollar you need not to remember all those commands it's very simple straightforward you can just paste the playwright selector here in selector sub and verify just like any other selector so this is very very uh, useful and huge time saver feature in selectors hub so this will help you guys a lot and i'm sure you will love this currently auto generating the playwright selector is this feature is available in uh, selectors hub pro you can verify playwright selectors in the selectors of free version and the pro version port so yeah with that thank you thank you so much and uh, selector sub pro is almost free guys so i will highly recommend that everybody please upgrade to pro version this is just one dollar per month and you can take a free trial and just enjoy these amazing features of selector sub pro with that thank you thank you so much please let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you have uh, any feature request if you need any feature in selector sub do let us know feel free to let us know we will implement those features thank you thank you so much